Beale Air Force Base invited us to their property to respond, but many details surrounding the rare and deadly crash remain a mystery. Many of our questions went unanswered. Witness video sent to our newsroom is still the most telling detail behind yesterday's U-2 reconnaissance spy plane falling from the sky shortly after takeoff Tuesday morning. Air Force officials today only telling us the aircraft was a two-seater specifically for training exercises. Both pilots ejected from the plane, deploying their parachutes, with one now dead and another with unknown injuries. Colonel Daniel Barnes would not comment on the pilot's background or experience, but wants the public to know around 60 personnel from the Air Force Base responded to one of their own. I'm very proud of our airmen and how they responded and worked hand in hand with their community partners. I'd like to take a moment and offer my sincere condolences for the family and friends impacted by this tragic event. On Beale Air Force Base's website, the U-2 reconnaissance plane is considered the most complicated aircraft to operate in the world, capable of reaching heights of 70,000 feet. That's an altitude comparable to 13 miles. This is the first deadly U-2 reconnaissance spy plane crash in 20 years. Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.